dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank, misfortune seemed his lot. We got into a drifted bank, and then we got upsot. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Now the ground is white, go it while you're young. Take the girls tonight and sing a sleighing song. Just get a bobtailed nag to 40 for his speed. Then hitch him to an open sleigh and crack, you'll take the lead. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Welcome to the 2012 Hamilton Santa Claus Parade. I'm Kate Lane, and today I'm joined with Ron Corsini. Ron, what did you think of the Baker Street Victorian carols? Oh, my gosh, they were unbelievable. I love the harmony that they managed uh, to just get those songs out there and just put you in the mood. Oh, totally. Who doesn't love carol carols? I love Christmas carols. I know. What's your favorite part of the Santa Claus Parade? Oh, it's, well... The marching bands and of course Santa Claus at the end uh, he just that's the climax of the the whole uh, parade but the marching bands and the floats are always so exciting just to wait and have them pass by I know they're different every year but I'm gonna have to agree with you my favorite part is the drum lines they just get you in the mood they get everybody excited moving yep. grooving and of course everybody's waiting for the big man himself absolutely well, do you have a favorite parade memory since you oh are a local Hamiltonian? Oh my gosh, I used to remember the parades marching up James Street out of the James Street armories years ago, having lived on James Street uh, at that time, and also being part of the parade, driving a car. I drove Sheila Coffs one time and uh, Ronald McDonald and, you know, How fun. really, yeah. Well, fun. we are joined with another. We have Mike Fortune standing by. He is our sideline reporter, and I think he has a family. Thank you very much. Uh, Santa Claus is coming to town very soon, folks. What an exciting day this is. And with me right now, they've made the trip all the way in from Brantford. We have Taylor, Dylan, and Emily. Kids, thank you for being so patient. Now, i got to ask you, as the older group of this uh, group of kids here, what is your big Christmas wish for this year? I just want to be with family and friends. Well, I really like that. Well done. But if there was one special gift under the pre tree, what would it be? Probably a laptop. Oh, a laptop. Okay. Let's go down to Dylan here. Dylan, how you doing today, pal? Fine. And how old are you, Dylan? Four. And do you know why you are here today? No. You, you have no clue? No. Um, you're wearing a Santa hat. Because Santa's coming? Yeah. yeah, there we go. Okay. And another reason why I got this group of kids over here, look at this girl, Emily. Emily, love this hat here. Um, I like, are those, is that your real hair, the red or the white? Red. The red's your real hair. Okay, special gift that you want from Santa this year? Um. Laptop, leapfrog, anything, anything. Furby. Oh, Furby. A Furby. Furby Barbie. Okay, good stuff. Hey, you know what? These kids have been really patient. Santa Claus will be coming very shortly. Folks, don't you go anywhere. The 2012 Santa Claus Parade will be coming up right after this. Hills and plains. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. Well, you always know what's the start of the parade when you see the police go by, their lights are flashing, and of course all the kids are getting excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I, uh, 
I just can't wait for this whole parade uh, to pass us by. And what a great advantage point we have We here. are lucky, Ron. Oh my gosh. We have a perfect view outside City Hall. <laughs> it is just fantastic. We do have a very special guest coming up as well later on in the show. Mr. Santa Claus himself. Oh, absolutely, I can't wait for uh, for him. I just, you know what, this is really getting me into the Christmas spirit. I know, me too. You know, I wasn't up until then, you know. It's hard, it's the beginning of November. I know, but uh, it's really putting me in the spirit. I have to go do some Christmas shopping, I guess. So, I know, me too. Actually, know. I was thinking about putting up my tree next weekend. Is You're that too early? Already? I, I think it's a little too early. <laughs> a little too early, I know, I'm getting all excited here. Well, we have our first banner here. And look at, they're all in the Christmas spirit. Oh my gosh, just fantastic. Well, Mike has his very first guest and I think uh, we're heading over to him. All right. Yes, we are, Kate, thank you very much. Uh, Doug Fairway, really important, I think we get you to start things off neighbor to neighbor. How important is it for people to give this time of year, sir? It's uh, the most important time of the year. Um, our shelves get empty, as you know, quite rapidly. So this is a tremendous time of the year. We get great support at events like this. You can see people have brought their non-perishable food items and it's all going to a good cause. But the run up to Christmas is a busy time at Neighbor to Neighbor and all of Hamilton's food banks. Doug, thank you very much. One of Cable 14's own Doug Fairway. Kate, Ron, back to you. Well, thanks, Mike. And I think I am starting to hear our very first band coming up, which we've been looking forward to, Ron. Oh, I can't wait. And this seems to be the community living band. The Community Living Band, well, I can definitely hear them. You can always hear the bands before you see them. I really, really, really enjoy this. The Community Living Band, they are almost on their way up here. Well, Ron, I think they're going to be starting off a very good parade. This oh, is looking good. It is looking good. The weather's held out, you know. It's a I was a little cool, worried. It's no rain, and we're going to have uh, a rain-free parade today. I know, that's what we can only hope for. I probably would have brought a blanket, though, if I knew it was going to be this chilly. I was expecting it to be a little warmer. Yeah, the temperature is dropping a bit. A little bit, but at least there's no rain. Well, here we go. We have our band here. Well, that was great. You know, the Community Living Association does a really terrific job in our community in, uh, in Hamilton, and they're not very far from here, so they, uh, I'm really proud of them. I know, they're doing a great job, but really good way to start off the parade. Yes. All right, Mike, we have our next guest, and who do we have here? We got the one and only Mayor Bob Bertina. Mayor, uh, great way to kick off uh, November, December, the Santa Claus Parade. Looking back on 2012, what are you proud of this year, my friend? Well, we just went by it. <laughs> About $150 million of new projects. But, uh, you know, the city, a billion dollars of building permits. The unemployment rate is, is way below the Ontario average. They're predicting we're going to be the highest growth city for the next year. It's all good, you know, and it's really all about is, you know, the best place to raise a child. Yeah. That's hard to live up to, but we're trying. We want to make sure that all these kids have an opportunity in Hamilton. 
place to live, grow, and work. So that's what we're working on. And finally, Mayor, uh, any special traditions that the Bertina family has over the holiday season? Yeah, we always have a big fight putting the Christmas tree up <laughs> because I always think it's straight and my wife thinks it's crooked. <laughs> well, hey, that's a good one. I like that. Mayor, enjoy uh, the parade. Enjoy the holiday that's season, my friend. The there you have Mayor Bob Bertina, Ron and Kate. Back to you. Well, thanks, Mike. I think he has quite the job cut out for him, having to cu catch up with all those cars and the floats. <laughs> <laughs> He'll lose a couple of calories uh, today. He for will. Sure. Well, we just saw the War Amps float go by. They did a fantastic job at decorating their float this year. And up next, we have Hamilton Special Olympics Figure Skating Club. Now, I had the pleasure of doing a feature on them uh, last season in Hamilton Life, and they are just a fantastic organization. Look at this. This is really so special watching all the smiling faces of uh, these kids on this float when this I went out great. yeah when I went out and saw them I was blown away about how good these kids are <laughs> at figure skating they, they would have out skated me any day oh my gosh <laughs> Well, up next, we have the KX94.7. They are our new country station. They've been around for about a year now, and it's a fantastic station. They're so involved in the community. They're always out and about, and in the, they're in their event cruiser today. That's great. I see them all over the place. Now, another organization that really puts a lot in was the downtown BIA. We just, there they are there. They are always making the downtown a better place. You want to work, live, enjoy, play, everything right in the city because there's so much going on here. And we want people to come downtown. And this organization is really getting to the point and getting people to come out downtown and enjoy all that downtown has to offer. Because downtown really has so much and you don't realize oh, it until you get down there exactly. and you see all these fantastic stores and events going on. This summer they had the summer promenade, yeah. which has been fantastic. They're really involved. They do a lot of hard work. Well, Frosty the Snowman made his way out today on the TD Bank Parade float. They are giving away clappers. How great is that? <laughs> so the kids can make even more noise when Santa shows up. Well, they could use them for New Year's Eve, too. That's true. You can always save them. <laughs> Dual purpose. All right. And here come those clappers. And the kids are just loving it. How fun is that? This, is, this Christmas song in particular I really enjoy. I, this has got to be one of my favorite ones. The Winona Peach Festival. Ron, did you make it out to the Peach Festival yeah, this year? Yes, I did. And I just go out just for the Peach Sunday. I, I have to have one every year. Actually, I've never had the Peach Sunday. I'm going to have to have, try it next summer. Oh, you got to. on board we have the lovely Miss Winona Peach Queen sitting on top of her peach basket how fitting is that wow Well, the next float we have up is the Mothers Against Drunk Driving Hamilton Chapter, which is a really important organization. It Absolutely. really promotes driving safe, driving sober. And saving lives. Uh, yeah, arrive saving alive. Lives. Remember this holiday season, if you do choose to indulge at your Christmas party, find another way home. Absolutely.
Lowe's of Canada we have up next. Great, this is a great community store we have here. Well, they do a lot of community work and uh, they really put back into the community and this is what we like to see. That's what Hamilton's really all about too. Yes. Phil Hendry's two-door Ford. Look at that classic car. Oh it is gorgeous. What year is that car? I think it's a 28. 28. 28 Ford. Wow. And behind it, the Hamilton police car Studebaker. The Studebaker plant, it just recently closed, but it was in operation right here in Hamilton. Yes, it was. We made built and made cars right here in Hamilton. And the building is coming down now, I believe. And uh, I remember the Studebakers, actually. All right, well, Mike is up next, and he has an interview. He's almost ready, but this, I think it's, I believe it's a 67 Studebaker. They actually let me in. I couldn't believe it. You got to? I got to go in the Studebaker once. Nice. <laughs> well, Mike is up next, and he has an interview with the police chief. Kate, thank you very much. With me right now, Police Chief Glenn DeCare. Hard to believe, my friend, another uh, year has come and gone. Yeah, another year and a terrific year for the Hamilton Police Service uh, and the work that our folks are doing. And as you can see, the turnout today, our people involved with the community in every single way. And, and uh, the horse behind us here, just a terrific addition to our service. Very operational, helping us out on a, a great level with the operations in the city. So we're doing really, really well, Mike. Yeah, the mounted unit has really, uh, really brought the public and the police force uh, together. Let me ask, I know we talk about this on our show and the messages go out there, but Chief, a reminder to everyone who's out celebrating this time of year, things they should keep in mind, even keeping their house safe. Uh, absolutely. What we want to make sure is that when people go out, lock your doors, uh, tending to leave presents around. Uh, we also want to make sure, Mike, at this time of the year, the issue of impaired driving, remember, uh, is something that we focus on every single day. And we want the, the entire community to be safe, but that includes all our drivers and our cyclists and our pedestrians. So no drinking and driving. Police Chief, thank you very much. And a very Merry Christmas to you and your family. Merry Christmas. And thank you for Cable 14's work. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Chief. Kate, Ron, back to you. Mike, I just really got to give props to the Hamilton Police Services. You know, they are out there, the mounted unit, they have the Hamilton Police Action 4 team there on their bikes. Yeah. Everywhere around the city, you see the Hamilton Police yeah, out. Yeah, they are very visible. I I'm so happy that they kept the mounted uh, police too. Uh, on their horses. I'm really happy. I like to see that. You do, because when you see a police officer on a mounted horse, it gives you almost a conversation piece. They're more approachable. Mm -hmm. And it's a sense of uh, being secure, too, because I feel safe when they're around. Me, too. All and the police officers. But one of, one of their police horses recently retired, Trooper, unfortunately. But hopefully they get another beautiful horse for the mounted unit. <laughs> yeah, I do, too. It's, I really think it's a worthwhile uh, uh, budget. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. They're out and about. I love seeing the horses. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Well, Mike, I believe you have another interview for us. Yes, we do, Kate. Thank you very much. Uh, with us, Crime Stoppers of Hamilton. Very apropos that this will follow up with the Chief of Police. Debbie, you can keep driving while we chat. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah, we can do all this multitasking today, Debbie. Debbie McGreal Denning, Crime Stoppers, the importance of it, especially during this time of year in the great city of Hamilton. Crime Stoppers, like we said many times before on your show, on Cable 14, it's a great way to report crime anonymously here in the city and keep your community safe. Do we find that crimes sometimes escalate during this time of year, break in, so on and so forth? Well, we know that crime is all year round, but yeah. uh, sure. I mean, there's, there's people that uh, obviously um, become a little bit more desperate perhaps during the Christmas season and want to, um, and, and crime may escalate, yes. And as the chief mentioned, uh, make sure you lock your doors and windows and all that. Crime Stoppers, you know the number. Give them a call if you have a tip. Debbie, thank you. Happy holidays to you. Bye. Kate and Ron, back to you. Well, thanks, Mike. And it sounds like we have our next marching band up next. I hear them. They are on their way, but before we get to them, I just want to thank the parade committee because they do a phenomenal job. Absolutely, and they're going to be start working tomorrow on next year's parade, and it gets bigger and better every year. Uh, Ed Dunn and all of the committee members really go out of their way and work very hard. Well, it takes a fantastic group of people to put this parade on. And here they come, the CCI Community Marching Band out of Collingwood.
They sure look like they're having fun. Wow, I like that. They even have a little dance. I don't know if I would be that coordinated to dance, play, and walk. Well, I like when they move around rather than just march in a straight, direct line. They gotta be moving to the music. I know, and look at this up next, the H2O Mobile Wash. I have never seen this before. Look at all the bubbles that are <laughs> letting loose. Now the kids have to be loving those bubbles. Oh, look at that. I'm excited about the bubbles. <laughs> there are so many people that, that are involved in putting on this parade. It's not just uh, the committee, the police department, uh, volunteers. There's a lot of volunteers that come out uh, every year and do a great job. I don't think this parade would be able to run without the volunteers. No, not at all. And it's local Hamiltonians that get involved, and it's just great. That's what I love about Hamilton, because Hamilton uh, citizens of this city really put themselves out. I know, with a half a million people, it's a big city with a small town feel, exactly. I find. Exactly, yes. Up next, we have Griffiths Automotive. And the Thunderbolt Squadron from Stony Creek, here they are. Oh my God. We really gotta thank all these people, especially uh, tomorrow. This yes, of course. Day and Everybody's getting in the holiday spirit. All the little ones. I love seeing the kids out there having fun because they're so genuinely excited yes, for Santa. Yes. Now the Hamilton Waterfront Trust, I absolutely love the trolley that they have down there. I think it's great. It's not only the trolley, it's the whole waterfront that we have a jewel in this city. And more and more people are discovering it all the time. A lot of people don't even realize what's down there. Get down there. Everyone should be in the, especially in the summer, in the winter too, long walks along the, the pier. It's absolutely beautiful. I know, it's definitely my favorite. And Mike actually is up next with a quick interview for us. Yeah, here we have Ward 2 Councillor Jason Farr. Jason, tell us a little bit about this float and the great trolley you got. Oh, it's exhausting, Mike. <laughs> it's I can, a tough life. Imagine. Oh, yeah, and we've been going downhill all the way, too. Uh, this side, uh, a lot of kids. We got some uh, kids from that free day camp we started up at Central Memorial in Stinson. Kids from Skate the Dream at Eastwood, that uh, free hockey program uh, that we started last year. Going even bigger this year. And uh, my boy, too. Say hey, hi, Jake. Jake, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> what, what's Santa going to be bringing you for Christmas this year? If Lots of leg. If yeah. he's like, be yeah. good, my friend. Hey, good, Jay, right, very, good. very quickly before I let you go, some sure. uh, traditions that the Farr family has during this time of year. What do you got for us? Well, we generally take about six days to put up the tree and then just play it by <laughs> ear after that, Mike. Good stuff. <laughs> Councillor Farr, thank you very See much you, for Mike. your time, my friend. Cheers. I gave up hey, Kate, Ryan, you got to love that. You got the mayor and the councillor both having issues putting up their tree. Go figure. Back to you guys. I know. Go figure. You would think that would have something like that under control, but I guess the simple things in life that always give you a little bit of trouble. Look at this float. Oh, this was my all goodness. hand built. This was hand built? Yeah, it was, I think the guys at the FASCO built this uh, years ago. Just look at all the mechanicals in the detail. involved in the detail. It is absolutely incredible. And this is definitely a float that you want to see time and time again. Yes, yes. It's not one of the one-time use floats. No, this is absolutely stunning. Oh, I love it. Look at the horses there. And 
how cute is that little one to dress up <laughs> as Christmas gifts? That'd be a fun present under the tree. <laughs> have it made well up next we have a 1919 model t ford we're seeing a lot of old fords today ron well look at they don't build them like they used to i mean they built look at this car how well maintained it is it is absolutely gorgeous i'm sure he had to put a new coat of paint on it though uh maybe Well, we have the Christmas Miracle truck up next. It's the CKOC, you know, K-Light FM, Oldies, and the new funny 820 AM, which is just a great channel. It really makes you laugh in the morning. <laughs> it does. When you're feeling down, turn the station on. I know. It's, it's nice to listen to a little bit of funny in the morning yes. instead of your usual commercials. Well, Mike, who do you have with you right now? Mike neighbors and uh, Mike, we got you on a skateboard cowboy boots you from know, Funny 820. Having fun. I'm, you know, I'm having a great time. Wonderful turnout. But well, I got to say, whoever thought this up in the boardroom, I'm <laughs> telling you, I hate them. I hate them. I know it's Christmas. Hey, tell us about the float and the three great stations and what you guys are representing here today you at the parade. What? Christmas miracles, what yep. we're all about at Christmas time. 1029, all these. And up next, we have the Greyhound Lovers of Hamilton Wentworth. I am a dog lover. So Anyone talk I. to me, I'm obsessed with my dogs. They are just a fantastic thing to have in your life. We have a very, very old dog, Biff. Hey, Biff, say hi. I'll have to say hi to my dogs, Bentley and Fair at home watching, all cuddled up. But oh my goodness, look at these guys. I'm going to have to get my dogs one of these. <laughs> Well, these dogs are def definitely getting their walk in today. Look at this. This is the SPCA, Hamilton Burlington SPCA. And look at some of those dogs. And they're another great organization. Oh they have gosh. so many wonderful dogs and cats that need homes. We actually have them yes. in on the Hamilton Life Show once a week. And to this day, every animal that we've had on has been adopted, which is fantastic. Which, they all should be adopted. These dogs just give you so much love animals in general and up next we have the branches of the native development and the native culture in Hamilton is huge we have a very large native community yes And this has to be Dufferin concrete with that big, big truck back there. It's all part of building uh, Hamilton. We need uh, these vehicles to spread this cement around because uh, I know uh, being from the, uh, the Italian background, I love cement. You do, yes. <laughs> you do love cement, of course you do. See, when I see the, all the construction that's going on in Hamilton, some people can get frustrated, but I personally love it because they're improving it for us. They're doing this to make it easier in the long run. Absolutely. A little pain now, a lot of gain in the yes. future. Well, the Dundas pipes and drums are up next, and I bet you they're a little chilly in their kilts. Because <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't want to be wearing a kilt today. I don't think so.
And here we have the Canadian heroes. With Remembrance Day, you really have to get out and remember. Go to your local community center, anywhere they're having a ceremony, and participate. Yeah, and we have to thank uh, Chris Eklund for this because this is his, uh, his doing, uh, getting all these vehicles and really saluting uh, all the men and women in uh, all the armed services that fought for our freedom. I know sometimes it's easy to take for granted. Yes. We don't realize how lucky we are. We don't. And what would a parade be without our local Hamilton Tiger Cats? And you don't find fans like the Hamilton Tiger Cat fans, oh, no. Ron. No, they are ferocious fans. They are. I say they're a different breed <laughs> of people because when you meet them, they are die hard. They you are. can't be half on, half on. You're on the Tiger Cat bus. The 13th Hamilton Scout Troop. We have a lot of great organizations for kids to get involved. And Scouts, Girl Guides, it's all here, right here in Hamilton. Just a wonderful organization. Up next is the Kiwanis Hamilton Boys and Girls Club. They really do a lot for the kids here in the city. Yes, they do. They put on a lot of great events and they give a place for kids to come and have fun and be kids. They have a great time. Uh, they, a lot of them uh, are just looking forward. They, love, they look forward to going to uh, the, all the events that the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, put on. And I think this has to be the first Christmas tree we've seen on a float so far. I just oh, realized that, Ron. <laughs> it is. Now, what better way than to spend the parade on a float? I remember back in, I think, 97, I won a contest with the spec where I got to go on one of the floats. I drew a picture about recycling, and it was probably the best time I had at a parade. <laughs> Look at that. Look at those faces. Look at those smiling faces of all those kids. It's just pure enjoyment. I hear another band coming up, and it has to be the Sherwood High School Band. I think a lot of kids are going to recognize the characters on our next float here. It's the Ronald McDonald House. They are truly a fantastic organization right here yes, in the they city. Do. They do a lot of good work. This is uh, Hamburglar, I believe, and the other character is? Grimace. Grimace. That's Hamburglar right. and Grimace. They recently renovated the Ronald McDonald House, and I heard it is absolutely magical for the kids. They have a candy room. They have a toy sponsored by Cadbury, by Hasbro, and only the kids are allowed through. 
So it's really a place for the kids to have fun, families to come together, and it's just a, a really nice place for families to be. Well, Steps Reforming Arts Center here. Hamilton is huge into the arts, into the music. We are definitely an arts community. Some of the kids uh, from my school are in this, uh, this dance troupe. Are they? Yeah. So hopefully they recognize you. They'll have to wave hi to you. <laughs> Now this is a group of kids that are definitely getting their workout oh today. Oh my god. I'm sure their parents will be happy when they get home and just sleep for the rest of the <laughs> they'll, night. They'll sleep for a couple of days. Well, Shaw and Shaw Direct is up next. They're one of our shareholders here at Cable 14. You gotta love cable. Well, Shaw, that's my cable company right there, Shaw. Well, without so, cable, we wouldn't be here today, Ron. That's true. <laughs> Oh, look at that, a beautiful fireplace. I gotta say, my favorite part of the holidays is sitting at my oh, parents' house in front of the fireplace, yes. having a few beverages with them, yes. sitting beside the tree and just waiting for Santa to arrive. Silver City, Hamilton. Who doesn't love going to the movies? I love it. I can't wait to go see the James Bond movie. I know. I heard that's been good. Really good movie. Ron, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, my God. Miracle on 34th Street. That's a classic. That. Yeah. I'd say mine, I just love Elf. And Home Alone <laughs> is my all-time favorite. Candy, Merry Thank you. Christmas. Another dance troupe up here, Pure Energy. Definitely getting their workout today. There's Victoria and Lexi. See, you did see some kids from yes, your school, Ron. There she is. <laughs> Hi. Well, you have some fans out there, Ron. You didn't tell me you were in your fan club today. I'm a bit jealous. Hey, hey Lexi. Dance is a great way for kids to get involved, oh not God. just girls. I love seeing little boys in dance, yep. and you wouldn't believe it, it does help with their sports. Oh, absolutely. What the heck? And moms and dads are marching behind them. Well, you always hear of the dance moms and the dance dads. Yeah. They really do take care of the kids, bring them from dance classes to here and there. It's all about the parents. Uh, it's a good time of year for kids to be thankful for their parents. All right, this looks like the junior tie cat cheerleaders here with their beautiful gold pom poms. I'm see, I'm jealous of that too. I love those pom poms. You were a cheerleader. I actually was a cheerleader. Did you did you twirl the baton? No, I was actually thrown in the air. Really? I, was, I was a flyer. They would throw wow. me in the air and they would catch me. I'm recently retired though. Wow. 
Oh, another one of my favorite Christmas movies is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. How did they arrange to have the Grinch in the parade this oh year? Oh my gosh. I thought it was, he was hidden away in his mountain cave. Oh, he should be sometimes. Well, the Hamilton Public Library is up next. Their renovation, Ron, is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I was in there the other day, and it's state of the art. Yeah, and they offer so many more services, not only books to rent, but uh, there's a lot of other things to do there. Yeah, they had a huge computer area, and I think every single computer was in use. Yes. Hamilton was really out and supporting the new library. And the bookmobile just spreads that right throughout the whole community. I mean, you don't have to come downtown. If you want to rent a book, you can get one right from the bookmobile. You can. I've, I didn't know that, Ron. You mm. learned something new today about yep. the lovely city of Hamilton. Well, Ron, I think I'm next. We have our carolers back. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you wherever you are. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring some out here. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring some out here. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, the Hamilton Farmer's Market, which is another great addition to the new library. Well, they're not an addition. They've been there for a very long time, but it's one of the best places to get local produce. Yes, and you know what? More and more people have to discover uh, our market downtown. And, and everything that it offers. Some fantastic cheese places, some oh delis. Gosh. Sam's Cheese, yes. Sam's Cheese has got to be one of my favorite places in the, jelly, in, in the market. But also the European pastries that you can find there. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's Fresh dangerous bread. for me to go in there. And free apples, what a nice treat. What? It's nice from your usual candy canes, it's to get some of your daily servings of fruit and vegetables <laughs> in there. You have to remember to do that during the holidays. Yes, you can't forget that because we tend to overeat a lot of things that aren't alone. the best for us. Well, and put on a few pounds. And one of the other TV stations here in Hamilton, CHCH, they're another great community channel. They're always out and about in their community cruiser. I see them everywhere. Yes. Now here we have the City Kids. What a great organization this is. This is amazing, operating out on Sherman Avenue. And the red buses bring kids from the inner city and just showing them that there is a life out there and giving them hope. Yeah, it, it's important to show the City Kids that mm -hmm. there, there's more to life they can go out, they can go to school. Yes. It's it's great and organization. A lot of new friends. That's what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> they seem to be having a great time. They do. They got a good dance number going on. Our next band is up, and it's the McMaster Band. They have a big weekend this weekend. Oh, wow. Do they ever. This football game is going to be amazing. Their football team has been just outstanding recently. So the marching band definitely has something to dance and play to. 
I'm surprised they made it out with all of the chaos going on over at McMaster <laughs> this weekend. Next, followed, of course, behind the McMaster Band is McMaster Engineering. It's a great university that we have here, right here in Hamilton. And it's world renowned. It, these kids come from all over the place to uh, attend. McMaster Math. University, yeah, right here. It's just That's what's great about Hamilton, is you don't need to go away from home to attend a world renowned university. I don't think they have any water in that carpool today. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Geraldine Henny, Hockey Olympic Gold is up next. Sorry, Heaney, I meant. Now, she is an Olympic athlete, Geraldine. She's in the Hockey Hall of Fame, too, for women. Uh, well, without any NHL going on right now. Yes. And these girls could play hockey just as well as the oh, boys Oh, can they ever? And I think uh, sometimes even a little better than yeah. the men. Well, up next, Mike Fortune has an interview with Miss Geraldine. I certainly do, and uh, Kate, what a thrill this is. Geraldine Heaney, welcome to Hamilton. How are you doing today? I'm doing very good. I've just lost my voice. Uh, well, you're not cheering because there's any hockey. How'd you lose your voice? <laughs> I know. No, I'm cheering out here. Let, let's see that medal that you got there from Salt Lake 2002. What a be thing of beauty that is. What's keeping you busy nowadays? Uh, coaching my daughter's ho novice hockey team. And no doubt that's a full-time job in itself. Uh, before we get out of here, what are some of your traditions in the Heaney house during the holiday season? Oh, we like to watch the hockey, but obviously, um, hopefully the World Juniors, and you know, that's always something that we do. Well, thank you very much for your time. You have a very Merry Christmas, and enjoy your time here in Hamilton. Right, thanks, Ron. Thank you. Ron and Kate, back to you. Well, we have so many phenomenal Olympic athletes here in Canada. It's a great country to live in. Absolutely. And we just saw Green Horizons Hamilton saw it. What I find about Hamilton is they really work hard to keep it looking beautiful. I always see landscapers out there putting up trees, putting in flowers, no matter what time of year it is. And it does. It's a lot of work. Just recently, the city gave out uh, their Trillium Awards, and there are a lot of people with Trillium Awards in here, right across the city. I'll be at their luncheon on March 17th this you year. You will be. United Way of Burlington and Greater Hamilton is up next. Another fantastic organization. Hamilton really does have a lot of community organizations out there. Look at that. And they do a lot of good work. Oh, I do like this car. You're, I'm getting to sense that you're a big car fan. Ah, uh, yes. The red tag hatters, how fun is that? I think I'd want to be on one of those if I was on a float. <laughs> these, these girls look like they have a great time. 
I know, look at the ball up there. Those are some beautiful hats. And this is what I have been waiting for, is the St. Mary's drum line, Ron. They are incredible. I went out to do a feature on them back in June, and I thought that I knew they would be good, but when I got there, I was absolutely blown away by them. Yes. I like drum lines. There was a movie a little while ago yes. with a drum line, and uh, that's what they sound like. Yes, yes. Corey Pierce is uh, really involved with the drum line. He does he great is work with the kids. An educational assistant at St. Mary's uh, High School, and let's hear them. drum line and she says the kids just love Corey Pierce that he's, That's he's great. a great instructor and he just he taught them all to play did you know a lot of those kids couldn't even play I before know. that's what's great about it and he puts a lot of his own time into it well I would assume that these would be the rope skipping team the Hamilton hoppers another good workout we've <laughs> seen a lot of good workouts here in Hamilton today Wow. It's a good way to get your cardio up in the winter. Yes. It's easy to fall I off that workout bandwagon. I need to be doing that. It's a way to stay warm too in this parade. I used to love when it was the jump rope for hard at school. I think that was my favorite time of year. Yes. Well, they look like they are about to participate in an in intense skipping. <laughs> the double dutch was never something I was good at. It wasn't my forte. Here we have Rona, another fantastic store here in Hamilton. These are all businesses in Hamilton that really give back to the community and that's one good thing about it. You know, we should support them. Definitely, it's important to give back and it's important to s support your local Hamilton stores. Mm -hmm. Well, this next flow is always too funny. It's the Shriners Hillbillies Outhouse. How <laughs> hilarious is this, Ron? This is so funny. The Shriners do a lot of good work here. I know in it's some of the parades, you see them in their little cars. <laughs> yes, I guess yes. it's a little too cold for them to be doing that yes. today. And up next, we have the Ontario Bloodhound Rescue. Now, Ron, a cool fact about them is two of their bloodhounds were just recently adopted to be on the Broadway production of A Christmas Story. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. And after they're done their stint on Broadway and they're all been trained by a world-renowned dog trainer, they're going to be up for adoption. Oh, look at those faces. We had a few on Hamilton Life recently, Winnie and Haas, and they were the sweetest dogs ever. They're beautiful dogs. Wow. They just look like big teddy bears. Everybody's getting in the holiday spirit. I think I've seen more Santa hats today than I have in a long time. Oh.
Ron, uh, I noticed that you have a pretty cool hat today. I got this up at Lids in uh, Lime Ridge Mall yesterday. The two girls, it was about 8.30, and the girls were great, made this hat for me. And, Merry uh, Christmas, Cable 14. Yep. What's better than that? Another band, the Royal Canadian Air Cadets. <laughs> Some of the cadets look so young and know how to play an instrument. I wish I did. I know. I, I always wish I learned to play the piano. I should have listened to my mom when I was yes. young. Well, Columbia International College is another great educational facility we have here in Hamilton. In Hamilton, and it brings kids from all over the world. And they get to see how great Hamilton yes. really is. Well, up next, we have a Zumba Hamilton Fitness. Ron, have you ever done a Zumba class? Uh, no. You haven't? I haven't. Well, I think you're going to have to get out and go and try one now. <laughs> they have so much fun, these ladies. It's a great way to stay fit, have fun. You don't even realize you're exercising. You don't. You know, so that's, that's a, a good thing. That's a key to exercise is you have to find something that you enjoy to do. Well, the Lions Club, they're a great organization. My dad is actually involved in the Waterdown chapter. And as much as I make fun of their purple vests that they have, they really do a lot of great work here in the community. There must be chapters all over the world of Lions Club. Isn't there, there is actually. There's many, many Lions Club chapters. This is a nice float coming up here from the Lions Club. And we have the second Grinch of the season. Wow. I don't know how he cloned himself, though. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd like to learn how to do that. But he's teasing the kids. He's not really Santa in that sleigh. No, he's not. Well, Dykeman Stables, some gorgeous horses. Ron, recently I was up at Teed. The yes. Equestrian Center for the Disabled, which is a great organization. They help disabled adults and children. I've decided I want to learn how to ride a horse. It's amazing how the horses feel the, the, the energy, rider. Yes. And the, the people that ride the horses feel the, the energy from the horses. Yeah, they it, were saying so that uh, gentle. the kids and adults that go out there, uh, they really connect with the horses. And it brings them out of their shell. Oh, and they have Rudolph even. How cute is that? <laughs> Everyone's dolled up in their Christmas best today. <laughs> well, of course, we all know that Hamilton doesn't have one, just one education, a post-secondary education. We have Mohawk College, which is a great, great school and it, it's just growing and growing and growing i took many courses up at mohawk uh, throughout the years and there's something of interest for everyone now working in the media i find that a lot of people in industry actually went to mohawk college yeah. it's hands-on it's a great school and they have so many different courses that you can even take as an adult. There's, there's Fred Loft from the city of Hamilton, longtime employee. Find everybody that works for Hamilton, lives in Hamilton, are very proud yes. to do so. 
in Mohawk College, this whole float and all the kids involved are from all different organizations of the school. So Ron, when I'm not listening to Funny 820 in the morning or KX947, I always turn on to listen to Ben and Carrie on Y108. They have been around for a long wow. time. And CHML also. Now that is a tough <laughs> sport. Those girls are tough as nails. I don't know how they do it without breaking a couple of bones every time they go out. I'm sure they've broken a few. <laughs> now I think this has got to be a runner up for the kids' favorite floats. It's not even a float, it's a fire truck. Everybody loves the firemen. It's amazing, a lot of the kids at school, I asked them up at the same, Vincent DePaul, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a fireman. I think a fireman's a fine profession for anybody to choose. You're putting your life on the line, saving people's lives. You really it's not only think. for men, it's for women too, so we call them firefighters. Like. That's true, forgive me. But it's tough yeah. work being a, fi a firefighter. Oh, I wouldn't want to do it. Well, Mike, who do you have joined with you there? With me right now, Kate, thank you so much. The Chief of the Fire Department, great to see you here. Chief, how are you enjoying the Santa Claus Parade so far? It's awesome. Once again this year, a great crowd and uh, just great to have the community come together. So I talked to Police Chief uh, Glenn DeCare a little earlier. He gave our viewers some tips on how to be safe throughout the holidays. What safety tips can you give us regarding our trees and our wrapping and all that? Well, certainly as we get closer to the Christmas season and we start bringing our trees into the house, we want to make sure that we're keeping lots of water on those, fr on those uh, trees. We want to make sure that we're using extension cords, we're using them appropriately and we're not overloading them. If you're going to use auxiliary, auxiliary heating devices, whether kerosene heaters or other types of devices, make sure you use them in compliance with the manufacturer's recommendation. So there's all kinds of great tips and our Fire Prevention Bureau is always available to give our citizens even better tips. Chief, some great reminders. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the 2012 Santa Claus Parade. Let me get off here, guys. Kate, Ron, back to you. <laughs> well, Mike, I think you're going to have to... Uh Sir, you're going to get hurt somehow. You, you're really pulling out one out of your hat today. Oh, I love that old fire Look truck. It's just great. Truck. Followed, of course, by the Hamilton Emergency Services. Now look at those streets, they're packed. You know that whole parade route's packed now, don't yes. you, Ron? And you can feel the excitement from these kids and they're just waiting for one person to arrive and he should be arriving shortly. I, ha I heard that Santa Claus was gonna be here soon. <laughs> oh, and another band, perfect. I've been waiting for the Salvation Army Band. I guess the kettles will be out soon, and they do such a wonderful job. There they are really so do. many needy families here in this community, and there are a lot of good organizations that help out and make their Christmas a better one. I know if, if you're more fortunate than others, it's so important to give back and make sure everybody has a really great Christmas.
Now I'd have to say this is a pretty relaxing day for all the truck drivers. This would yes. be a good gig. Well, the Steel City Patriots, football is huge here in Hamilton. We are a football city. Oh, that's for sure. And the big game tomorrow. Is it tomorrow, Mac? I believe it is this yeah, weekend. I think so. Oh, it's today. Sorry, it is today. Well, yes, the Yates Cup is being played today, and we are wishing the best of luck to our McMaster Marauders, and we are sure they will bring the cup home. Well, this is something we haven't seen yet, towing a float. It is a huge hummer. It has to be for the speedway here in the city. Have you ever gone to the speedway? I haven't. Oh my gosh. Fun? Well, you got to bring some uh, Your plugs? Your yes, plugs, I will sure. remember. It's extremely loud. No, maybe I can go do a feature on them and they'll let me race one of their cars. Oh, maybe? yes, that would be neat. Well, Ron, I think we are getting another peek at our carolers. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Sing, choirs of angels. Sing with exultations. Sing, all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet thee, born this happy morning. Jesus, to thee be glory give. Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing, adore him oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him Christ the Lord thank you very much with me right now some kids are we having fun at the Santa Claus parade yeah. 
And who are we waiting for? And what is the best TV station to watch the Santa Claus Parade on? Cable 14. Guys, thank you very much. Kate, Ron, back to you. Well, thanks so much, Mike. You are getting some great interviews out there today. Up next, we have the Starlight Dance Studio. I am amazed at how many dance studios there are in this city. And that's why we're all in such great shape. That must be why. Now, Ron, I bet you we're going to have a lot of little <laughs> girls and boys wanting to join some dance studios after this parade. Yes, that is absolutely right. You know, when they see the smiling faces of those kids. How much fun they're having. And I didn't know they brought along some Disney princesses with them today. I saw Belle, Cinderella, and even Daffy Duck, I believe. Now I believe we're only a few floats away from the big man himself, Mr. Santa Claus. Well, we have the St. Anne Catholic School in Ancaster. Hamilton's home to a lot of great schools. And it looks like they were sponsored by Mordens Organic and Wild Meats Farm Store up in Dundas. It's a great place. You get some really local food. Uh. Kindertown Child Care. They have a fantastic float this year. Frosty the Snowman once again. just feel the excitement in the air. Oh, can I you mean, ever? I'm just getting really pumped here. And I, I've decided, Ron, I'm putting my tree up today when I get home. I think so. <laughs> I think I so. Now, I'm really in the spirit I now. know. I've, I've changed your mind on you. Montana's cookhouse. Mm. Well, maybe I'll go home and have a steak <laughs> dinner first. All right, I have a feeling the big man's on his way. Well, I think that's Mrs. Claus. Oh my gosh, that is her. I didn't know she was coming out today. And it looks like our very own Mike Fortune is uh, getting a sneak interview with her. You know what, Kate? I'm pretty lucky right now. You can keep moving there, driver, uh, as we keep going here. With Mrs. Claus, Mrs. Claus, how has the year been for you up in the North Pole? We are very, very busy. We're trying to get all the toys ready for all the kids. Christmas is coming up pretty fast, so I'm hoping all the kids are, are being good. And, and I have to ask you, how has Santa been keeping in shape? Is he ready for the big day, or has social media, Facebook, and Twitter been keeping things up, making things a little easier for him? 
Uh, it is making things easier for him, but he's, he's keeping up and, you know, I'm making sure that he's, uh, you know, doing his exercises and, uh, you know, eating well and making sure that he's uh, ready for the big night. Well, it's just over a month away and uh, you've been doing well yourself? Yes, I have been. I have been very busy making sure that all the elves are working hard, making sure that they're fed very well, getting my Christmas baking done. Mrs. Claus, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Hey, Kate, Ron, the big guy's coming any minute. Back to you. Well, like. thanks so much, Mike. Our final band of the afternoon is a top, top hat marching band. Now, how did they get the best spot right before Santa, ushering in the big man? Wow. Well, I feel the excitement in the air. The kids are getting excited. They're on their feet jumping. That must mean one thing, Ron. The moment we've all been waiting for, Santa Claus has arrived here in Hamilton, Ontario. He's here. There he is. Oh, he's definitely been keeping in shape this year, Ron. Oh my gosh, the man is here. He's here. Look at Rudolph. Wow, look at these kids' faces. Oh, they're just so excited. Now, Ron, were you on the naughty or the nice list this year? Oh, on the nice list, absolutely. Well, that is all for us here today. But just before we go, Mike Fortune has one more interview. Yes, I do, Kate and Ron. And what a way to end up the Santa Claus parade, talking to the guy that's been putting this thing together now for 37 years, Mr. Ed Cummings. Ed, it's, it's, a, it's a thing of a love for you to put this thing together every year, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, Mike. Uh, really enjoy it. And, hey, keep on doing it till we get it right. Now, you got a real in with the big guy. And do you have to work around his schedule, or uh, does he work around yours? Or the city's, I should say. <laughs> oh, no, he's, he's the boss. He tells, me, he tells me when he's coming to town. Ed, it's so great to see the community pulling together yet again. That must also just give you a big thrill, seeing the schools, uh, all the local retailers, everyone comes together on this special day. Oh, yeah, this is very much a community parade with all the majorettes, the bands, and everybody. And uh, Hamilton really comes out. In spite of the weather, it was pretty good today, but they still come out in the cold. Well, Ed, uh, to you and all your volunteers that helped put this together in Great City of Hamilton, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the parade as it takes off here. Go follow the big guy, will you, my friend? Thanks, Frank. Well, there you have Ed Cummings, and what a wonderful Santa Claus parade this has been, the 2012 version, live from the city of Hamilton. It's been so much fun working with you, Kate, and of course you, Ron. And remember, folks, during this time of the season, be safe, be merry, have lots of fun. And again, a big thanks and a goodbye from the city of Hamilton for the 2012 Hamilton Santa Claus Parade. Take care, Hamilton. While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace, and makes the nations prove the glory. His righteousness and wonders of his and love, wonders of his and love. wonders of his love and wonders.